just sitting here on a bench. Um, Cristofero is that way and uh, just wanted to share my feelings or reflections or whatever. Um, nothing crazy deep. I woke up early, wanted to get there for sunrise to spend some time at the foot of the cross. And the walk up was dark and beautiful and I could see this, the city lights or the town lights, the lights from the town below and I look up and there's lights in the sky with the stars and um, I put my earbuds in because even though people are like, oh no, listen to the music and the sounds of nature, that's all well and good, but um, I really like to center myself with some music that focuses me and today as I was walking to the cross, I was listening to um, some Crowder, uh, the song Come As You Are, about laying down your burdens, uh, and it's what the Lord can give you that will heal you. So I listened to that, um, put me in a good frame of mind. Um, also listened to Chris Tomlin's God Almighty. There's a part of the song that says, I will close my eyes with my face to the ground in the presence of your majesty. And that gets me every single time because, you know, I'm not worthy. <laughs> But he's worthy and the sacrifices that he made for me are just incredible anyway uh, so I'm trying to have these thoughts here but people keep walking by and it's uh I'm going to get up and walk because people keep walking by and it's, it's really hard to record, but, you know, as I sat there at the cross in the darkness with a handful of other people just watching the light come up, of course I cried because, you know, I wouldn't be me if I didn't cry, but I had a really hard time letting go of the stone. And I clutched it, and I kept clutching it in my hand. And I wondered why that was. I mean, was it a comfort? I don't know. Like, like I couldn't let go to, to trust that everything was going to be okay. And obviously, you know, it's a rock. It's a stone. It's a symbol. Right? Um, and yeah, it was really hard to all tied into you know, like letting go of the pain of my this is my dad. <laughs> and, um, and just everything you know all the things that I've been carrying with me. So but I got to a moment it took a while took a while for me to find a little bit of peace. So I looked at it again in the, in the dawn, the light of the dawn, and just let go, let go, and I laid it down. Like I was laying it to rest, you know? Like I was laying it to rest. And, and it was good. So now, now we move forward. I move forward with the Lord at my side to make sure, and I trust that everything will work out to His grand plan. And uh, onward to Santiago.
these views, I feel like I'm back home. The rolling green and all these bushes and shrubs. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Manharin. We are approaching, I believe, I think it's maybe just the one albergue here in <laughs> Manharin. And um, this guy has been said to be a modern day Templar. This is his al albergue. Buenos días. He's got all his dogs here. See, so he's just like a knight's temple. <sighs> the Spanish flag. No, <laughs> Last night, last night of the Templars, Templar night. Uh -huh. 25 years here. I see. What's that? Desayuno? Cafe? Gracias. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my gosh, look at them. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Got a juice. There's donativo inside. Uh, well, for the food. This is just like home. I feel like I'm up in the, I'm up in the uh, Verdugo Mountains or something. And that's like LA down the back. <laughs> it's amazing. Even the weather feels just like home. Even these rocks are <laughs> just like home. Happiness. 
I'm loving this part, like this whole steep descent down from Fonseverón. Hasn't been so bad. I haven't even been using my poles uh, for whatever reason. But anyway, I can't wait to get breakfast. I hope El Acebo is somewhere down there because that's where I plan to get some breakfast this morning. Because it's late and I haven't eaten yet. I just had that juice box from um, Maharin at that very eclectic Knights Templar albergue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Ciao. Here's some of that descent. You, you can't tell what it looks like from here. It's not so bad. I think I'm gonna go this way. A little smoother. Um, yeah, you really can't tell the grade of this. You just have to watch your footing because of all those rocks and stones and stuff. And it is seemingly endless. <laughs> Something like 1,200 meters down or I don't know. Something like that to El Acebo, which is the next town, which is where I'm going to get breakfast, brunch, or whatever time of day it is. Lunch, maybe. I don't know. Check out the rocks. Okay, let's focus so as not to fall on my face. Yeah. Mm, I got onions. And uh, I got my orange juice. Onions. You got onions? That's your veggie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the going down to Molina Seca is tomato, very nice. It's nice. It's And eggs. All of it is yeah. more because I'm still hungry. A cream croissant and <laughs> uh, <laughs> cafe Americano. I know. It's your fault. I was like, well, she was eating this and that. Uh, I'm like, I can eat this and a sandwich. <laughs> Walking through El Acebo. Pretty cute town, actually. More downhill until we get to Molina Seca, and then it kind of flattens out for a bit until we get to Ponferrada with with a few rolling sections. Just have to show you guys the trash on the Camino. Like seriously, pack it out, pick up your trash, take it with you to the next town, and throw it away. It's terrible. It's everywhere. That's my little PSA for the Camino. Leave no trace, people. Leave no trace. Cute. Beautiful. It reminds me of, um, it's almost like Disneyland. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. like a Western. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. Look at that. Where, where is this again? Riego de Ambrose. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. <gasps> Geraniums. Buen camino, gracias. Oh boy, look at those rocks. No, no, you're good. 
Molina Seca. Yeah, definitely staying here. It's cute. This is such a charming little town. I've decided to stay. It reminds me of a. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. It's just really cute. Okay, let's see what I can find. Let's check out this albergue. El Bordon. Hmm. Senor Oso. Oh, I wonder. I stumbled on this place called Senor Oso. Um, very good marketing signage outside. And this is my bunk down here for 10 euros. Very nice, it's a, it's a new albergue. We have lockers. So this albergue has only been open for five months um, and everything's really new. Um, they have lockers similar to Roncesvalles where you put the euro in and then you can take your key and then you get your euro back. So. Um, you don't really lose any money there. Um, free Wi-Fi, um, really nice. Um, I don't know what else to say about it except for it's new and the guy downstairs is really cool. Um, his name is Jose. I don't know if he's, if he's the owner. Um, he sits you down. He <laughs> took my backpack upstairs for me. Um, he explained to me all of the different rooms and showed me all the different areas. They do have um, a washer dryer, so you can pay to do that if you want to. You get the tokens downstairs or the money downstairs. Or you give them the money and maybe they do it. I don't know. Um, we each have our own wall units. So we've got a plug here. Got, of course, I'm doing this sideways. So a light. And then there's a USB port right on the side. So it's really good. Um, yeah. And it's just right here. This town is adorable. I can't wait to walk around in it. But for now, I'm going to um, just massage my feet, give myself some lotion, just moisturize. And I don't know where this bruise came from. It was definitely there before the massage. So anyway, mm, good walk today. And I'm glad I'm staying in this little place, I think. It's pretty cute. I can't wait to walk around. So um, I'll show you a little bit downstairs when I get a chance to. I'll just kind of walk through or whatever. But um, yeah, check that out. It's uh, Senor Oso right here in Molina Seca ten for 10 euros. And I have four, four bunks in mine, um, or two sets of two, you know, upper and lower bunks. And then I think there are a couple of other rooms that have some bunks in them too, but yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. So Jose is the real deal. He gave me a map of Molina Seca, but not only that, he gave me like the lowdown, like where to go. He told me about this like sculpture, uh, this tree thing. Um, I'm gonna go t take it. But it was like a, like a mini tour guide. So <laughs> definitely, you know, check out Senor Rosso in Molina Seca. Jose is, he's the man, he's awesome. So just walking around town now, trying to stretch out my feet, get unstiff. <laughs> My ankle feels better, my heel feels better, but this is such a really, really cute town. Anyway, okay, I'll, I'll show you this little thing. It's like 400 meters out of town, so I think he said about another 400 or so. And there's some like crosses and statues and stuff to look for along the way. So, and he said to do it now because it'll be dark tomorrow when we leave in the morning. There's the first, this must be... Crucero Santo Cristo, I think. Yes, that's it. There's trees up there. Look how charming this town is. We leave the city. There is the statue. It is the Monumento Peregrino. And 
St. James, I think, or maybe he's just a pilgrim, actually. Um, a tour bus in the back. And he told me something interesting about this statue, uh, this sculpture. Um, you can see this little plate, or this, um, what do you call it, marker here. It tells you what it is, and it's in Spanish and Japanese. Um, so if you don't know, and correct me in the comments below because I don't know too much about it, but there is another, like another pilgrimage that is like a sister pilgrimage to the Camino de Santiago. And um, I know they've mentioned it before in the Facebook forums. It's like the 88 temples. Um, and I think here, you see the number 88, um, I believe there is a like a, a pilgrimage trail in Japan where you can it's 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 not as long as Santiago de Compostela it's not as long as the Camino Santiago oh my gosh you know what I'm saying <laughs> the Camino Frances but um it's like I guess you go and visit the 88 temples or something it looks we're just 6k to Ponferrada um but yeah you can see it says Spain it says Japan, Spain, and that must have been when they erected this statue here in 2009, perhaps. Um, but I thought that was really interesting. Uh, I'm going to look it up, and I forgot the name. It starts with a K, I believe, from what I've seen. So now we're exiting um, Molina Seca, well, shortly thereafter. And he said if you just keep walking and walking and walking, you'll see this albergue de peregrinos, and behind it there's like a... Um, like a park or a garden, and that is where this, uh, well, it looks really cool. It's um, a sculpture of, of uh, a Buddha, Japanese Buddha, um, ca canon or something like canon. I forgot the name. I'm sorry. I apologize if I have this information wrong. I'll put the correct info in like a subtitle or something like that. Um, uh, but again, just... Um, significant to the Japanese people and it's carved into a living tree so whoever carved it um, carved it in such a way that they made sure to keep all like the he said the nerves he called them the nerves inside the tree intact so that the tree would remain alive um, he says there's a uh, I think a place in Canada that also has one, but the tree's dead. So this one's cool in the fact that uh, the tree is alive. So I'm gonna keep walking. <laughs> it's five. I have time before dinner. And then he also gave some dinner recos. So thank you, Jose. Okay, we're close. Um, he said it's behind the municipal albergue. So we're here. Um, it says Albergue Municipal. So, I'm going to check it out. He said it's in the garden somewhere here in the back. So it's Albergue Municipal, San Roque. And just walking in the back and I see a, a tree with a plaque next to it, so this must be it. Yes, indeed. In a living tree. True, true. Wow. Okay, you ready? Look at that. Amazing. See, is it carved into the tree itself? Huh. And the tree is alive. Oh look, what fruit is that or what what is this tree? Someone tell me in the comments, do you know what this tree is?
Thank you, Jose. You are a little camouflage little person, aren't you? Well, you're not a person, but you're a kitty. Are you? Hello? Hello, little one. <sighs> you're just sitting there, all camouflage like. I need to check out this, the river. And my little tour guide, Jose, told me that during the summer months, they usually close up that area, kind of like a, a dam, so that the, the water will stay higher. And you can see there's a ladder right there. So, so kids can swim and people can swim in the river during the summer. But yeah, this is lovely. I um, might have dinner right over here, maybe later. Um, but yeah, isn't this nice? get up there. Okay, I'll get up there and then um, there's another church as you enter. Um, I don't know if I showed that to you, but I'm going to head to this other church, which is um, oh, the Church of San Nicolas de Bari. Hello! <laughs> Taking a tour. Did you see the... Um, did you see the... Anyway, look at this beautiful city. Oh my gosh, adorable. I decided to just go to the market for dinner and I have bought some things I'll show you upstairs. 
this for Maybe uh, show him a massager. Yeah, so yes. they, oh. this is Jose. He's the owner of this albergue. Okay. And we have foam rollers. This is a toy. This is a toy of the albergue. Okay. <laughs> one. Or one of this one. And it's for using in the, uh, in the, the legs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the foot. It's not permitted to use it in the, in the dorsal mm -hmm. because the vibration is little dangerous. Okay. okay? And. Uh, what? Have a battery uh, it's, it's very up but uh, you use it in the careful one you use it in the in the in the foot mm, okay okay um this and one this big one here the bigger look oops <laughs> in this one in your dogs from manga careful uh, so yeah. you were looking for uh the tablet mm. exercise in the in internet yeah. using that you have like this one Okay. 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 Thank you. And this okay. is this is he offers this at an albergue. This is the first time I've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, one big one recommended to me. Yeah, and that's fantastic. Say, they buy something because it's very interesting for them. No, yeah, because we need massage. You yes, know, after yes, walking all day. Yes, yes it's the oh. best inversion, but it's free. And it's possible that using all pilgrims. Yes. And uh, it's it's nice. It's it's fine. Huh? Thank you. Another toy. <laughs> or uh, entertainment more. <laughs> Why not? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And he's a very good tour guide. Uh, I went to the tree. Yes? Yes, uh, I did. Oh, really? it's, I, I did. Really? I, I is beautiful. It's, nice, it's, it's nice. so beautiful. It's extreme. It's it's unique. It's, it's strange, but uh, uh, later in this time, in, in this time to you, uh, something's why or, or why not. Yeah. Uh, and I it's nice. It's I nice. like it. It's, it's much more more magical the Camino mm -hmm. with some uh, details of this. D yeah, something uh, different, nice. and then it's off the beat beaten track too. Yeah, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. But it is nice. It's beautiful. It is nice. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for this vibrating electric contraption. How do you turn it on? Oh! 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 Young is like. She's on her bed. Oh my god, this is so unattractive. Oh. Okay, here's my massive calf. I'm gonna massage it because that's usually where I have pain. Oh my god, nobody needs to see my entire leg. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. This is wonderful. <laughs> so, what did you do in your albergue last night? Oh, we played with bone collars.